Hi everyone, this is Sultan with the WB Funnels team. And in my last video, I showed you how you can start creating your uh, funnel. And I've imported a funnel template to add these steps. Now in this video, I'll explain all the features that are available in this canvas and what are the things you can do, all right? So let's get started. Now, this is the funnel where I left off in the last video where I showed you how to import the template and how to start creating your funnel, all right? Now, first of all, you can rename the funnel if you want by clicking on this one, all right? And other than that, you'll have more options such as if you click on this one, uh, this is going to take you back to the overview dashboard where all your funnels are listed. If you click on plus step, this will allow you to add more step. So let me click on this and you will see that this will give me choices to add different steps. And for each of them, we have templates available uh, or you can start from scratch. Now, you usually use the template if you just want to quickly start creating the funnel and launching it. All right. Uh, but if you want to invest some time and design the whole landing page on your own, in that case, I suggest you start creating from scratch. So for now, I don't need any more steps. I'll just go back and uh, I'll be happy with the three standalone steps for now. Okay. Now in the drag and drop canvas, I can click over here and move it to move the steps all together. Or I can click on each step to move it uh, randomly. All right. So the fact is in this canvas, you can plan your funnels however you want. You can add more steps to it. In future, we'll be introducing the upsell and the downsell steps. So at that time, you'll have more options to create different types of funnels. And it will be even more when we launch the lead generation funnel steps, all right? So for now, in this uh, version of the plugin, these are the steps you can add and you'll have an option to add order bump to the checkout page okay i'll show you all that gradually as we go on with our series of videos all right now other than the step you see there is this another button called condition uh let me just show you what this is if you click on this it will bring you something like this now this is a conditional node basically uh using this you can set up conditional redirection all right based on a certain condition uh the next step will vary that's the type of thing you can do using this I'll obviously have a separate video completely dedicated to the conditional node so that I can show you how you can use this effectively. For now, I'm just not gonna use this in this funnel, all right? Uh, next is you have the option uh, to preview this funnel by clicking on this button. Uh, you can click on save button to save any changes you made, such as I've moved this about uh, a lot of times. So when I click on save, these positions will be saved, all right? And you can click on the three dots and then click on delete if you don't want to continue with this funnel and remove this. That's what you can do. And pretty soon we are introducing analytics. So that option will also be within this. All right. Now at the bottom right corner, you see you have an option uh, to zoom in and zoom out the funnel canvas. So if I click on plus, it gets zoomed in and minus it gets zoomed out. I can click on this one uh, to reset. All right. So that's what you do with the zoom in. Now let's move on to the steps themselves. First of all, once you click on a step, it gets selected and you'll get a set of respective options for that, right? Uh, if you right click on this, you'll find a cross which you can click on to delete the step, all right? So I'm not gonna delete it now. Uh, for the connectors, these are basically what decides what step will come after the previous step. So here, according to this connector, after the landing, you'll be seeing the checkout page, all right? So for each of these connectors, you can also hover on it and right click on it and you'll find the cross button. If you click on that, the connector will be removed. Again, you can draw the connector, just click on the step and in between on the right side, you'll have this node. You just take the mouse on top of it and you'll see the cursor has changed. Just click on it and drag it onto the step where you want uh, the person to go afterwards. So then the connector will be connected to the next step, all right? Now you'll see that once I select a step, there are certain options here. For the landing page, you'll get the option to preview it or you can edit it. So once you click on edit, it's gonna open in the page builder uh, edit mode that you selected. So I have Elementor selected as my default page builder. So if I click on this one, it's gonna open the landing page in an Elementor edit mode, all right? Uh, for the checkout step, we have one extra option, which is a configure option. Uh, basically checkout step, has a few extra options that you need to set up. That's why 
uh, we have used the configure uh, option where you can configure those over here rather than going into the edit mode and doing that all right uh, i'll obviously show you those options but let me just go through with the basics first uh, once you click on the thank you step you'll also see another uh, configure button here because this also has certain options right so i'll finish this video here and in my next video i'll show you how you can uh, assign the product for which you are creating these funnels thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video take care